Hello, I'm teacher Ellen C. And I'm going to share with you today some of the props and rewards that I use when talking about colors. This is mainly going to be directed toward level one students, but certainly any of these can be used in level two and can be adapted for higher levels. But that's for another video. So today is like colors, colors everywhere. If you'll notice in my classroom, I even have the red A, the blue B, and the yellow C. So it adds some color. And I could even say, what color is A? What color is B? <gasps> what color is C? C, C, the letter C. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Morgan has already done a video on how she extends using the colors. So I'm going to show you some of the props or rewards that I have. One of my very, very favorite props is my Hello Kitty. And this one I actually do use on up into levels two. But my little Hello Kitty, so I just spray painted a pizza pan and then painted Hello Kitty on here. And I cut various bows out of fun foam and attached a magnet to the back. So I will usually give them a choice. Do you want a red bow or a pink bow? <gasps> red. Kitty gets a red bow. And then we'll continue on. We have yellow and each time if I don't give them a choice, if they're very, very young, and we just add one, we'll go yellow, red, yellow, red, or what color is this? Then we can add the green bow. We have blue bows. They love it when Kitty gets her whole head filled up with bows. I have a regular pink, and I have a glittery pink. I also have orange. So Kitty can get very, very many colors of bows. So that's one of the first props that I use. Another one that is good for the boys, or that the boys like, is my stretchy monsters. But you can use this for stretch and other things, but they can get a reward. Which do you want? Do you want green? or blue. And I also have um, a little colander or strainer. And sometimes the strainer will go running across and it'll catch it. You get the green monster. So these are another great reward from Dollar Tree. There are other colors with these. I just grabbed three. Another boy reward comes in a pack. It's about a dollar or airplanes. Do you want a blue airplane or a yellow airplane? Another thing that I have is paper airplanes out of each color. Uh, in the old level one, you may recall that we had the lesson where they had to fold the paper airplane. And I would use, I, I just used little small squares about six by six of various colors and I folded airplanes and those became a reward that I would use in other lessons. And then we would have the airplane fight, throw the airplane, throw the airplane. So you can see where you can use that for other colors. So back to the lesson unit two in level one in the new IMC classes or new level one classes, we talk about fish. Now, what color is the fish? So I have some fish that go in this little fish bowl. So I pull them out. If we're just using the three colors, what color is this? I'll pull those out. But then as a reward, do you want a pink fish or a blue fish? You want a pink fish. And the pink fish goes in the fish tank. And the blue fish can go in the fish tank. And they can see them. I'll hold it up where they can see them go in. So you see the fish. This particular fish bowl also has white, brown, 
yellow, red, orange, and purple. And if you turn the sound up on the fishbowl, it will actually even say the names of the colors. Another thing that I just had lying around the house was buttons. So buttons are a great way to show the color. There's also a song about buttons. So blue, purple, yellow, green, red, orange. And I also have a darker blue that I'll use sometimes, dark blue. <gasps> Which color do you want? Do you want green or blue? <gasps> You get blue, yay! They don't care if it's just buttons, they're having fun. Along the lines of the buttons is, I also have this container of buttons that are in different shapes. So that's where with older kids or if you need some extension with a child that's really has gotten it, you can use the square or the oval or the triangle. There's even an arrow. There's a flower. There are different shapes in there, but you can go by color or by shape. So another thing that my kids love is when, let me find it. Let me find it. Here it is. Another pizza pan that's been sprayed with a matte finish black. And we have dino faces. So they can choose. Do you want blue? I'm just grabbing whatever's here. Blue or white? <gasps> you want white? Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom! Dino! Do you want Brown or yellow? Here we go. Brown. Boom. You get yellow. You get brown. This set I found maybe in digital props, either digital props or in level one. We have black, yellow. You already saw white and brown. There's also green, purple, pink red and orange. The red and the orange are a little hard to differentiate on the screen. So if I hold, I try not to hold those two up together. And if I hold it up and this one and maybe the black one, they may say red and black or orange and black. It doesn't matter. They're, they're picking out the colors. And like I said, we know that they're a little bit difficult to see sometimes depending on your student's internet and how that works. So two more, three more things, props to show you. Most of my props, I just make. I print off or, and I'll attach a magnet to. Um, I have the stacking ice cream cups and I really rarely use them. So that's one of the things that I purchased that for me was actually kind of a waste of money because I had made, again, out of fun foam, my ice cream scoops. So I'll attach them. I have a magnet on the back. And again, we just attach them to purple, red, green, yellow, pink, orange, here comes the orange, orange, blue, and white. And I need to make a chocolate because a lot of them definitely, if we're talking about flavors, they know chocolate. But this is for the colors. So you can see how easy that was. You know, it did this out of scraps of fun foam that I already had laying around the house. The last two. Probably the simplest way to talk about colors and to connect it as a reward is to use different color stars. Again, like I said, I'm the fun phone queen. So we have red, we have yellow, blue, orange, green, um, have white. I have several other colors that I use too. And the last thing are these little fun things to put together. So you can just start along and ask them, what color do you want? <gasps> I want blue. 
if you're using it as an extension or if you need to extend, you can say, do you want blue on brown or blue on green? And they can tell you blue on brown. Okay. <gasps> red. Where do you want the red? On the blue or the green? Blue. I want blue. So you just keep linking them together. They can make some really fun, crazy shapes. Green on green. Yellow. You could just make them around in a circle if you want to. There's also pink. There's black. There's white. There's orange and purple. And if you happen to have a child or a grandchild with these or know someone that has them, ask them if you can just have one of each color. It won't take that much away if you borrow or you ask them to donate them to your classroom. But these, as well as, as you know, Duplo blocks. Duplo or Lego blocks. You can talk about the colors. Do you want green on blue, pink, yellow? So, so, so many ways to use colors in your classroom. Said so to extend into the upper levels, talk about on, are under, are beside, different things like that. So just lots and lots and lots of options. So I hope you have fun using colors in your classroom, and I will see you next time.